Hello. Um, so today what I'm going to be making is a beautiful peacock pendant. Uh, I've already uploaded a couple of videos of how uh, you can make a peacock pendant using a mold, uh, even without using a mold. So this is just going to be using without a mold, a slightly different variation, maybe somewhere a little bit more traditional, I would say. Uh, the one thing that is primary that you want to have um, when you're working on this kind of, kind of a pendant is slip. So this is just clay slurry. It's a combination of clay and water. That's it. So let's actually begin. Um, you've seen me do this a bunch of times. Uh, it's just a well kneaded ball of clay. Uh, these dowels uh, are, uh, or rather thickness scales are roughly about 0 0.6 centimeters in thickness. Um, let's begin. Use a little bit of water if needed. Smoothen the edges. I have a little ball of clay over here. We make this into a little carrot shape. Now, when I say a carrot shape, what will ideally happen is I try to use the use the use both my palm and just do that. So what that hap what that does is it kind of elongates the clay. It just makes uh, makes it into an oblong shaped bead, uh, which will finally turn into a bit of a teardrop. Once you've arrived at a rough shape like this, you don't even have to worry about getting it completely neat. Um, a shape like this, good enough. Okay. Place it this way. And you'll have roughly a position like this marked out for you. Okay, that makes it a lot more easier when you have to uh, when you have to score this area and apply slip. The same thing goes on to this portion as well. So I will begin to score. Score it really well and don't skip this step. Score well. Apply a generous quantity of slip on both. So once you have put that in place, you'll see that there's a lot of clay slip that's oozing out. It's totally fine, very normal, and it's also good. So you know you've actually put in a good quantity of slip. You can use any kind of a wooden tool or anything you want to just attach these two pieces together well. You're probably wondering that it's creating quite a, quite a mess, <laughs> but don't worry about that. It's all going to be fine. So what I'm going to do now is uh, you can use your silicone, uh, your silicone tip brush or anything. This is just the back end of a paint brush uh, because it's got a nice rounded smooth tip. I just make use of that to kind of smoothen it out, you know, so that it has a seamless joint. So once that's done. So once this is all nice and rounded we work on the beak. So the beak, I would, what I would typically do is get it frontward. I'll show this to you from a side so that you're able to get a better idea of this. And this depression that my thumb and my index finger is creating would be appropriate for the eye. Round don't make it too deep and don't make it too pointed either because like i said uh, when it is getting fired you don't want it to come off separately a light line like that okay i'll make a little eye as well so I've just used the back end of a refill, but what I'm also going to do is use my needle tool. Again, um, you know, like I said, when you are actually doing um, 
when if you're working for the first time on you know pieces like this you don't have to go through that level of detail because it can be a little overwhelming um you know you can take baby steps and see if you know you you enjoy doing this kind of work and um once you are a little more comfortable working with clay you can obviously you know get on to doing slightly more complex um designs so now that i know these yep i think these look fine just add a little line like that there just a little detail that's all <laughs> use my scratcher tool and we attach so once this piece is fired i will surely upload a painting video of this as well petal kind of a shape now i don't have a tool which basically gives me that kind of a shape so this is this is the best way and i'm i'm not really too keen on buying one also which gives me a petal because uh, i like hand drawing these personally once that's done i'll use my um ballpoint pen refill the back end of it put a little dot like this go back to using my um toothpick okay so once you have something like this um that is done we will get on with doing the lines which you know you obviously the feathers currently are um well they're not attached to the bird in any way so that's what we're going to do i'm still sticking to my toothpick and there I think i'm pretty much done using the toothpick to kind of you know smoothen out these ridges in the center I have these little these small little um you know stick beads over here I have used the first size in a um you know jhumka mold this one So always make these well in advance so that they are at least dried like this and you're just able to use it uh, without uh, too much of a hassle I'll add about 3 here 1 2 and 3 which would be like this okay so i have something like this we quickly check the back always check the back so that you don't have any kind of a pin that is actually you know jutting out and making a mess over there attach some pins in between over here i'm using the same size throughout we can uh, begin putting the hook in uh, i'm using a gauge 24 so i would probably put it over here and over here okay i'm putting the next one right here so um i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much uh, for your time uh, if you like what you see please hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much once again